You're not going to see me and Eddie out there, dude. I <laughs> know we're not. All right, here we go. Zane starting right out of the gate with a nice forehand drive. He rolled that ball with a lot of finesse, but also a lot of pace. One, three, four. One, zero. Zane looking extra bouncy and energetic this morning. Actually, I thought that was a good shot, but I, I have a terrible angle. So Riley saw it clear. One, one. One, one. That ball was hit really well by Zay Never two. Two, two one. Oh, what a great Ernie right there. He actually jumped that kitchen while the ball was in flight, moving down. Down, coming down, and he yeah. actually hit it with two hands. It's almost like half his body was leaning forward, and he still was able to make it wide of the kitchen. That was Inc incredible. Incredible, yeah. incredible. I mean, the athleticism on this court right now is insane. Oh, wow. Oh, Zane had the, Zane had the defense right mm -hmm. there. Well, let me back up. First of all, just being able to defend yeah. that in singles is phenomenal, but then he was there and able to, to get a chance at it. He just couldn't execute there. Oh, that's going to be a costly mm -hmm. mistake there. Four, two. Oh, he switched left-handed. He didn't get that ball to stay in, but that was a quick sh uh, flip yeah. there of his paddle. He's good at doing that. He really is. I guess the word seamlessly. is ambidextrous. Yeah. Some people say amphibious. I don't think that's the right word. I don't think that's it either. Reptilian? I don't know. What yeah, that's not the right word. Riley doing a good job of moving Zane around the court right now. Couple early unforced errors by Zane. That's right now the difference in the game. 5 3. Yeah, that's really good shot by uh, Riley Newman there. No surprise here, probably, but if you look around, Eddie, you're going to see lots of Starbucks coffee cups. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Just, this is just looking around. Even the pro players, like Jay Duvier, to my left, has Starbucks in his hand as well. He didn't bring me or you any Starbucks, though. A little disappointed on that. I know. I'm bummed. I thought Jay was our friend. Man, we even stayed late last night to commentate his uh, butts up pickleball. That's right. Maybe next time he'll yeah. bring us something. I actually was hoping somebody would bring us like some sausage egg and cheese burritos. Well, Ted gave me an egg McMuffin this morning. No, so, yes, who is Ted? Did. I would like I would like to speak with Ted. Oh, that's Ted. Never mm -hmm. mind. Ted can do whatever Ted wants. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything to Ted. But yeah, I guess I wasn't around. I was uh, busy doing an interview. Yeah, you're busy, busy being a big time on be the news, man. Being, being a big time professional here. No, actually, it was fun. We we had a good time with that. I would have rather been eating an egg McMuffin, though. And Brittany didn't bother to bring the Golden Boy any breakfast either. I don't know what's up with that. I thought there was a sign-up sheet for who was going to bring you your breakfast. Maybe next time I should just be direct and text people. I'll just text Brittany and let her know. Number three, please. <laughs> All right. Er, a 7 3 lead here in game one. Oh, Riley's tough because if you he stays back. So normally if you you want to keep somebody back, but like he does such a good job tracking every ball that then you think, okay, I'll drop it short, and then he can get to almost every ball like that too. So it's almost it's like a lose lose situation playing Riley Newman. Um, but Zane finding a little gap there. Yeah, he did. Just caught that line. Glad we I've have said. our instant replay powered by Paddle Tech, so we can all get a nice view of that. Caught another one. No, I think he called it out. Oh, he called it out? Okay. I might have appealed that, that call. That shot looked pretty good there.
That's great play by Zane. He got up to the net and he really dominated the point from from the net, from the kitchen. Also, I just want to say, like, as a player and anybody watching, it's it you're always allowed to appeal a call to a ref, and it's not a sign of disrespect to the other player. It's just simply maybe the ref had a good view and, and saw it different. And so I always try to ask. Yeah, I agree. I definitely don't think it's uh, an insult to your opponents at all. It's simply just looking for another set of eyes on it to clarify and make sure that the right call was made. Yeah, and then what do you have to lose? If yeah. you hit a shot that you thought was in and the other team calls it out and you appeal to the ref, the worst he can say is no. Right. Yeah. I didn't see and, it. And you're no worse off than you were before. There we go. That My point exactly, Eddie. Yeah. Thank you for, for saying that. But you're no worse off. All right, a little run here from Zane, a little push. I, I just love the athleticism that goes into singles. You know, oh, I yeah. mean, when you watch these guys, like, how do you not have just genuine respect for these guys? It's one of the reasons why I love watching singles is I do feel like this is where you see the top athleticism in the sport come out. It's a good play by both. Oh, oh wow. man, that's the kind of back and forth stuff that I just love to watch. It's like they're just playing the the, the, the mental chess match of, okay, he's right, now going left, now going back right, like moving that player around. Just looking for that little slight advantage to take take that opportunity and win that point. Got a quick timeout called. You know, both players, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're thinking in their head, I'm here for the long haul. I want to pace myself. I'm sure with singles, it can get like that where you got you to gotta think about that. You got to think, how many matches am I anticipating being able to, to have today? Because they also could be potentially playing in mixed or men's doubles later as well. And so absolutely, that's got to be going through their mind a little bit. But also I've heard players say, if you let up with that mindset, then you, you, you can't. Once you do, you're done. So I don't know. What do, you, what do you think about that, Scott? Yeah, I mean, yeah. man, you, this is not the format how it was originally set up, with, but the rain kind of dictated what was happening. So these guys are having to stack yeah. right. mixed doubles, singles, yeah. men's doubles, all into one day, like true professionals. That's right. It's, it's 10... <laughs> of course, Riley Newman with a good sense of humor out there. 10-8, uh, game point on the paddle of Riley Newman. Yeah, that's a good play. Good play by both. Zane able to get one more chance because now with the rally scoring, it didn't matter that he wasn't serving. Yep. It's 9-10 with a chance to tie it up here. Let's see what happens. how quick Zane is. He He's just so gets fast. to that ball so quick. But Riley moving him side to side. Oh, he, he wanted that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, he I, that was the exact shot that he knew he was going to hit. He just clipped the top of the net cord barely. Had it not clipped the net cord, guaranteed that ball was a winner. Yeah, I mean, then it would have been 11-10 game, and now you're you're forcing the back and forth to keep inching up to try and win by two. But he right. up the top of the net. Riley scoring means immediate win for Riley Newman. Absolutely. So we're going to switch sides. They're going to do it again. And we still have Jack as our official referee. He's doing a fantastic job still. Shout out to Brittany on point with the score. That way you guys at home watching from your probably your couch at this point or if you're at work right. and you shouldn't be watching, kudos to you. I agree. I would be at home. Drinking my coffee, enjoying my morning, watching pickleball. What are your plans like immediately tomorrow on Tuesday? Do you have like the plan to just like do nothing or do you go back to work? Uh, I don't go back to work until January 2nd. Good for you. So I hope to catch up on a little bit of sleep, enjoy the new year. And I doubt I'll see midnight on New Year's Eve if I'm being completely honest with you. I don't know if I would have admitted that on camera, but hey, I mean... <laughs> I don't know that I would even if I had sleep. I live in Naples where it's a mandatory 10 p.m. bedtime. So. That's right. It's a sleepy town. <laughs> if you're out past 10, the police automatically think you're doing That's something right. sketchy.
All right, Zane starting out just like he did in game one up with an early lead here. The thing that Riley does the best, I think, is, is he grinds you out. He, he wears you down over the course of a game. He's not worried if you get up 1-0, 1-1, um, those type of things. Boy, really good point by Riley. But Zane, I mean, just Zane getting to half those balls and putting back over the net is impressive. You heard a little self-talk from Riley. He goes, that's a really good point, Riley. That's just him pumping himself up. Yep. Sometimes you need that in pickleball or in any sport. You need to pump yourself up a little bit, especially if you've been going four days strong in in this pro format. Well, I mean, your, your self-talk, it's either going to pump you up or it's going to bring you down because you are your biggest critic, right? But you can also become your biggest self-motivator as well. Back to that sports psychology thing. It keeps keep keeps working its way into our conversation. Yes, it does. And I actually, I already respected and admired Riley, but now my respect goes up even more just knowing that his self-talk is positive. Mm -hmm. You know, if he messes up, he, he, pro he probably says, Hey, that's okay. Next point. Mm -hmm. You know, when he does well, he says, "Hey, that's a great job." Yeah, you you want to you want to vent the frustration out. You want to get it out, but you also don't want to send you down a rabbit hole too. You want to be able to then talk yourself back up. A little bit of body language frustration from Zane, and that's simply because he's had a couple of opportunities where he normally doesn't miss those, and he's clipped the top of the net. And when you're competing, you just want that ball to mm -hmm. just find its way over, and when it doesn't, it's just frustrating. There it goes. That's the roll he wanted from the last one. How impressive was that? Zane stabbed that ball out of the air on his mm -hmm. backhand and was able to have Riley um, hit a difficult shot and an unforced air produced. Got a question from Jimbo Peterson there. He's looking at, he's trying to figure out where he can see the singles bracket. Uh, and he's asking about pickleballtournaments.com. Uh, this is actually managed all through Pickleball Global. And you can actually see the results in a very nicely formatted way by going to pickleball.global. And uh, you can see all the results. You can see the schedule. You can see the, you know, the, the layout of all the pools leading up to the quarterfinals and semifinals. Go out there and check it out. Yeah, and I think we'll dig deeper a little bit during a break, a timeout or something with uh, maybe between games on, on the Pickleball Global um, software and what they what they are trying to accomplish. And um, I think if there's some confusion like that, it's just simply because he's – that's my buddy, by the way, and he's been living under a rock, obviously, because I've been promoting the Pickleball Global event for at least two months now. So <laughs> get out of that rabbit hole there. I'm just kidding. Jimbo Peterson's awesome. All right, Zane with the little self-talk. Let's go. You see it yeah. on both sides, and that's you do? that's honestly what you have to have, because you're you're honestly giving everything you've got. And when things aren't exactly going well, you've got to find a way to dig deep and and turn things around. And self-talk is just one of those ways that you can do that. Boy, I tell you, that's hustle. That's oh, such hustle. Wow. But the, the thing is, like, in singles, because he's, like, running from literally sideline to sideline, even though he got his paddle on that ball, he lifted it too much, and Riley's all of 6'4". Yeah. I think I started saying 6'2 the other day, and somebody told me he's probably 6'4", but that's just... Did, oh. did we confirm? 7'5". Seven, 7'5", seven, yeah. Yeah, I confirmed it's, like, 6'4". And, and you could just look at him. You see his length. Oh, yeah. And how tall he is. And he's not, like... He doesn't like it doesn't look like he works out at the gym like seven days a week, but he's got that like natural athletic build that just gives him like a distinct advantage. That's what I'm saying. Else. I want to be adopted by the Newmans so that I can pick up on so much of their athletic talent, their physical stamina, all that. I just wish I was like born into that type of athleticism. Like you're yeah. trying to get adopted. I'm wishing I was like actually born into <laughs> I <know. that. laughs> Like I want to be like biological brothers with Riley Newman right now. <laughs> I want to be a Newman so bad. Like, I love my brothers. I have three amazing brothers, but it'd be awesome to be the Newmans. Or Zane Navratil. 
I think, again, the frustration is not that he's not that he's just missing those shots. It's like I think he feels that, that Riley's doing a good job of just moving him around and forcing these errors on Zane's part. And Zane's as athletic as anybody out there. I mean, this guy's he's, this kid's 24, 23, 24, and, and uh, doesn't get tired. Moves exceptionally well, but I think there's just a lot to be said about Riley's single singles game. Like he's he's making a a well above average athletic twenty three year old just work way more than what he wants to to win these points. It's it's a little frustrating. But he's in both of these games. Mm -hmm. Eleven nine and nine six. So he's he's not just laying down and going away here. Um But singles is a different animal here. A different beast. Ten six. Ten six. Here we go. Man, that is just a thing of beauty right there. Well, I mean, you saw that Zane was kind of trying to keep his balance up in the kitchen, and I wonder if that didn't allow him to be able to take position on the court that he wanted and really allowed Riley to have almost the full right side of the court open to just easily put that shot away. Yeah, I mean, just with such ease there. He had the whole whole court to hit that winner right there. Um, but again, just... Credit to him for moving Zane around so much. 